What's up everyone, X7 Albert here, welcome to another video, welcome to part 2 of Speed Glitch Tubes. It's absolutely amazing, you guys enjoyed part number 1, thank you guys for your awesome support. If you're having a bad day today, just know it gets better, there's always a rainbow after the storm, and I've been kicked from the game. But remember, there's always a rainbow after the storm. <laughs> no, but seriously guys, think positive, it's all gonna be good, trust me, trust me. I don't even know why I went into online session, first of all. We're gonna go over here to all my parks. We're gonna go to my parks and we're gonna right there. There it is. It's the only park on this account. <laughs> Speed glitch tubes. By the way, guys, if you want to get a little bit more involved with these skate three videos and maybe you want to try out this for yourself, you already know how to do the backwards man speed glitch, feel free to pause the video and go recreate the same tube that I'm making. Like go recreate the same park I'm making and just follow along in a way. So like if you want, you can literally pause the video right now and go make this tube right here. So you can, you know, do it for yourself. And if you want to be super precise, then let me count each of these tubes for you so I can tell you exactly the amount of tubes there is. There is exactly 25 nice there's 25 parts to this tube so you can know for sizing references so at the end of part number one we were noticing that being closer to the tube is a lot better to do the speed glitch right we still haven't really successfully got a super super fast speed glitch through the tube and you know aired out the the top over there and it hit the roof so we're gonna try a few times right here we're gonna try for a minute to see if we actually get that all right if not then we'll move on and try something different Oh, that was gonna be super fast. Yeet. But my game said, nope, that's a little bit too fast. Oh, nice, nice. Go around, around, and up. Whee! Okay, not too shabby. We still haven't flown all the way out, though. Oh, this is really good. Oh, I lost control right there, dude. I think we do have to make some adjustments here. I'm already getting a few adjustments in my head right now, but we'll leave that for later. Oh, that one's good. Oh, we're going around. We did a little loopy loop there. Oh, oh, here we go. Yeet. Still not quite fast enough, but it's okay. It's okay. We're getting better and better at this. By the time you know it, we're going to be able to do some crazy stuff with this. After I posted that first part, I started thinking a lot for this specific series that I'm starting to hear. A lot of ideas that I can do with the tubes. So I definitely have some cool ideas in store for you guys. So this is a series that you guys are not gonna wanna miss. Woohoo! Okay. All right. That was probably the biggest one so far. We didn't quite hit the roof just yet, but that was really nice. Oh yes. Yeah, baby. See what I'm saying? Every time you do it, you just get better and better. The more practice, the better. And anything, not just skate three. The more you do it, the better you're gonna get at it. You can't get worse at it. Yeet! Oh, I did a fast plan out of there. Oh, that one's really good, but I'm doing a loop de loop and I die. Oh! Don't do the loop de loop, just keep going. There you go. Just keep going, just keep going. And flip! Ah, uh, not the best flip. I was in switch, but it's alright. Oh, that one's really good. This one's really good and we can. Yes! That is the best one so far! Yes! Oh, that was beautiful. That was so beautiful, dude. I am so proud of myself. <laughs> Hold on, I need to probably make a little edit out of this if it's even possible, given the fact that I'm going so fast. Okay, first, let's uh go to speed and let's actually bring down the speed so we can see a little bit more. We'll bring about 50% down. Let's play that. Oh my goodness. See, that was perfect. That turn was perfect. Let me... Oh, no, it could have been a little bit better. Wait, this is not even it. <laughs> that was not it. What the heck? Which one was it? Is it this one? Yeah, it has to be this one. Okay, cool. Anyways, my bad. Take two. Here we go. Perfect coming into this turn right here. Like, that's the sweet spot right there. And I get it again. Perfect. A little bit down right there. And I fly right out. Pretty awesome so that's essentially what we want to do on the turns guys we want when we turn when we're coming up to the turn we want to be right in the middle of the corner like right there right in the middle coming along right in the middle right there i did mess up a little bit right here by coming down a little bit too fast and that caused my character to kind of hit a little bit of a bump right there kind of slowing me down just a bit other than that this was the best one so far for sure oh first try okay looking good never mind my character decided to try to do a loop-de-loop -loop. baby yes okay that was pretty nice turns except doesn't fast enough but 
I'm actually gonna try doing something. I'm gonna tweak something now. I'm gonna go to start. I'm gonna go to edit skater. Edit skater again. And I'm actually going to edit either my trucks and wheels to probably help me better at faster speeds because I know in the description of one of these right there you see where it says looser trucks allow sharper turns but wobble more at high speeds for the craziest downhill tighten those trucks up so obviously I have them super loose because I'm a trick line now that we're doing the speed glitch we want to make these all the way to tight now for wheels softer wheels will grip better while harder wheels will let you slide more so we definitely want to have softer wheels so we can grip better to those turns. Now, let's see if that actually helps. Oh, baby. <laughs> that was not good. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Right off the bat, I feel a little bit more in control now that we adjusted our wheels and trucks. Oh, that one's good. That one's good. But we went a little bit too crazy right there on the top. Oh, that was just really good, except we're losing control. We're going in circles. Oh, yes, 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 yes. This one looks good. This one looks good. Yes. Oh, baby. Air walking them haters. So I'm noticing that like midway of this stretch right here, this straightaway, I'm having for the most part good control. Oh, okay, bud. Oh my gosh, dude. See, I'm starting to get those super fast ones where it doesn't even work. Oh, baby. Oh, that one's looking good, except we're going all over the place like a ping pong ball, man. What? Oh, that one's looking good. This one's looking good. Yes. Oh, baby. That was really high. I'm not sure that was the highest so far. Maybe it was. I'm not sure. But I have an idea, guys. We are going to cut these tubes a little bit in half so we're gonna remove those turns over there and we're only gonna put this one that goes up like somewhere right here because it looks like majority of the time I have good control right here they're straight away so what if we put this we'll consider the launcher I guess the launching part of the tube what do we put that at the end of this straightaway maybe that'll increase the chance of us flying to the roof I believe so so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna delete this corner one and delete all these and leave those so now we're gonna hold a and group select all of them confirm and now we get to place it over here like so bam you see what i'm saying straight away to immediate launch hopefully this works the way i think it's gonna work let's try it out then of course i gotta replace my marker great that is the wrong way, buddy. What are you doing? Oh, first one. It looks like it's gonna work. Yay! Oh my gosh, that wasn't even that fast, but we still went all the way to the freaking seats almost. Okay. Oh, oh, we're doing a loop-de-loop, -loop and we're still going to go out, but we're going to go back in. Oh, okay, that was weird. Oh, stay on your board. Oh, baby! We're flying! Oh my goodness! Wait, what did it think I was gonna try to go on to? Because you see how the game kind of wanted to make me be able to land on something? Did it register something? Oh my gosh, we're actually close to the roof there. That's the closest we've been. Wow. No, I think the game just registered that I wanted to land somewhere over here in the bleachers. That was weird. And not quite. I think we're probably just a little bit higher right there, but we still haven't touched the roof. Oh, yes! We're flying! Oh my gosh, but yet still not enough. That was pretty high. Dang, look at that, guys. What a view. Yo, this could almost be a picture. Doesn't that look cool? <laughs> okay, now the game is starting to think that I want to just jump on the tube. Look at this. What the... I'm actually going to come inside a little bit more to see if that helps me. Oh, oh, this was looking good. What happened? We were going so fast that it just thought we we're going to go straight through the wall. Look at that. Bro, that's when we know that was going super fast. Okay, see, if that's gonna happen when we actually do it again, I'm probably gonna have to ride along the side of it and then go up rather than hitting it dead on in the middle. Hmm, that's interesting. Oh, this could be it. 
No, that could have been it. What the? It can't it send me a little bit too high. Oh, 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 I did the same thing almost. Oh, we're flying. Not really. It sent me a little bit more straight than it would have did up. So maybe... Do we gotta adjust the curvature here? What do you guys think? Let's uh, group this together. Let's make a copy of that and put it off to the side right there. Now we come over here and delete this. And now let's go to Mega Terrain. I think it's where it's at, right? And let's get this one, full pipe corner. Let's flip that around, put it down there. And now get the straight one, flip it and place it on top. Maybe since this is now facing straight up rather than kind of up into like forward maybe i'll send this to the roof or maybe we'll just completely slam into the wall right there in the corner i don't know well, let's try it out oh baby okay well that's definitely the highest we've gone that's 60 feet in the air now it's got to get the correct amount of speed Oh, could this be it? Oh, baby. Yep, 96 feet in the air. Oh, my gosh. How close were we there? Oh, we almost got to the lights right there. Oh, my goodness. We're getting closer and closer. Oh, this could be it. Oh, we're flying. Yes, we hit the roof, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> You guys saw it here first. We hit the roof. Mission accomplished. Bam! And we still have more momentum, guys. We could have gone past the roof if we could have. Ladies and gentlemen, look at the view. Wow. To think that... Oh, that's my butt. Okay. That's insane. I'm going to edit this real quick to see how it looks. Advanced free cam. Let's try to get a bird's eye view up here, like an FOV, a PO, FOV, POV. Oh my goodness. X7 Albert, what are you doing this high in the air? Yo, that's insane. This is his view right here, dude. We're at the top of the stadium. You have lost your connection to Xbox Live. What? Okay. Oh, good. It didn't X me out of the game. I thought it was. There we go. Now that's the picture. I'm actually going to save this picture and upload it. Take photo. Yes. And we'll upload it later. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned for part three because in part three, I think we're going to start getting a little bit more creative. I have some cool ideas. Now that we know for a fact that it's possible to launch out and hit the roof, I think there's some cool things that we can do here with the twos. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.